What's up, everyone? T101 here. I just wanted to make a, a video um, showing my appreciation to Fortnite. And I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this. And I'm definitely not affiliated or any of that fancy stuff with Epic or Fortnite. In fact, there's probably nobody there at Epic who even knows who I am. Well, maybe one person. But anyways... Um, I just wanted to go ahead and, and just say that, you know, I appreciate Fortnite. Um, I played it when it first came out in 2017 and played it all the way up until I, <laughs> it got too much for me. And as a gamer, um, you either adapt or you move on and Fortnite just uh, got a little bit too, too much for me. So I moved on to other titles, which is fine because you can still appreciate a game even if you don't play it all the time. I mean, when you look at Fortnite, you think, wow, 2017 is now 2023, and holy smokes, that's a long time for just one title to be sustaining the space it's in. Um, and still adapting, and as a title, and as a title, and if you want to survive in the space, you have to continue to adapt to what gamers are looking for, what, what your... Uh, what your demographic is calling for and all types of things. So you can't even, I can't even fault them for it. It's just as uh, an older gamer, as just sometimes I just can't keep up with the younger folks. Um, and it is what it is. And I'm not mad about it at all. In fact, I still appreciate Fortnite. I mean, I have Fortnite stuff still here, even though I play other titles a lot. And since OG has come back for the short, short amount of time that we're going to have it, I've been back on Fortnite and can't say, Man, it's just like riding a bike. I love it. I love it. the the time they brought it back is the perfect time. Uh, it was a nicely balanced back then for me, and it still is. And I know that um, as the weeks go on, it'll progress uh, to where it, it wants to be at, at. They want it to be at their current state, and that's fine. And I'll play it up until the fact where it's just done <laughs> too much for me, and I'm okay with that. But I, what I really want to say is like. In 2017, I started playing Fortnite, and it was fun. And I noticed that uh, my kids were about the age where they started to get into console gaming. And I was obviously in the console gaming and just starting to move into PC gaming. So we did a little bit of switcheroo here, and my older son started playing Fortnite, and then my younger son did. And would, they would just play Fortnite, but I never really played with them because I had my own clique of friends that I played with. And so... When Fortnite OG came out just last week, uh, my kids were now teenagers. So that just shows you the gap that we're in, right? Uh, so my kids are now teenagers. Uh, we still wanted to play it. And, uh, hey, let's let's play together. And that, that time, my daughter, who's now interested in playing it, um, she's also a teen, was playing it. And here I am, um, 43. And I'm playing with my my teenage um, my teenage kids, and for some of you who don't have children or whatever, you know, might not appreciate that um, or understand it. But as a father, um, that's cool because we don't. I mean, we don't have a. We're not like the the typical family go outside and throw catch, or go fishing and stuff like that. It's just a you know. It's, um, it's a different time of age, and some people don't do that. Some kids aren't into sports and, you know, things like that. And when you have three kids and you have lots of things going on, it's a, it's a little bit of a juggle to, you know, figure out who likes what and how much time I can spend. And, you know, when you work, you know, work Monday through Friday, uh, you know, in the morning, and you get home at night, and you just want to kind of relax, and people go to bed. I mean, when you look at it and you think about the time crunch, you're like, there's not much time. There's not a lot of hours that you can do, like, things with your children and your family and stuff, besides on the weekends. And then if you have kids who do re recreational sports, you know, that time's gone on the weekends as well. So what I'm just trying to say is I appreciate Fortnite. I love Fortnite. I'm glad that they brought the OG back. And from a personal note, it's connected me with, uh, with my kids a lot more. Um, even though it is probably going to be a short amount of time, who knows, maybe I'll... Uh, you know, maybe maybe it won't be super sweaty with this next chapter, and I'll be able to enjoy the game even more. But I've been having a lot of fun, 
And I was just curious if anybody else is experiencing this uh, in their lives right now with their children or even other family members like, hey, you know, my little nephew uh, is older now and we're connecting on Fortnite and stuff. And it's just cool. Like I'm playing with uncles like that type of stuff is cool. And I think that when you think I think <laughs> think about, when you look down upon it from a different perspective, that's truly what gaming is about. It's about, you know, bringing other people together um, and just finding something, uh, a hobby that you all en can enjoy together. And I just think that's remarkable. And I think Fortnite has been able to successfully pull that off uh, where other game franchises you know, might not have been able to, and especially in this large amount of time. And whether you're a fan of Epic um, or not, you know, you just kind of have to, you know, shake your head and appreciate, hey, that's pretty cool, you know, congratulations. Um, so yeah, I mean, have you, let me know in the comments below, have you been doing anything, have, what type of game has connected you with your family and stuff, and, and how has that impacted your life? And so that's just my T101 moment of the week, I guess you could say. Or something before my bird eats me. And I uh, hope you all have an appreciate day. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day. Appreciate you for hanging around. Peace out.